I always say that Tel Aviv is like a mini New York. It has energy, it has speed, it has style, it has a great vibe. People are fast, people are sharp, they're happy, um, they love life. It's a great, great city with so many opportunities and, and things to do. After living four years in New York, I think that Tel Aviv is one of the cities that lives really around the clock. I always say that Tel Aviv is like a mini New York. It has energy, it has speed, it has style, it has a great vibe. During the 1930s, while the modernist movement in art reached its apogee in Europe, the city of Tel Aviv was experiencing an intensive building rush. The majority of architects working in the new city at the time were of European origin. Influenced by modernist ideas and inspired by the Bauhaus School of Art and Design, these architects constructed numerous buildings in downtown Tel Aviv, turning it into an open museum of the international style in architecture. Israel was uh, founded on the idea of creating the new Jew. The Jews that has nothing to do with the diaspora, with what happened, and you know, a new type of Jew, which uh, 
which cultivates his land and then creating a new thing. Lately we have been recognized as a UNESCO wonder and we are part of the international heritage of UNESCO because of the Bauhaus. The Bauhaus, Bauhaus yes, it's a German school that was actually created to make the equality of the people coming to Israel as pioneers possible. Very simple, clean line and white. Here we are in Tel Aviv, where the spirit of Israel is alive and well. Today, I'm taking a look at a brand new Israel. This event is so cool, it only happens in the world's greatest cities. Berlin, Paris, San Francisco, and of course, here in Tel Aviv. It's a global celebration, man, of peace, love, and coolness, and I'm about to see how much trouble I can get into in Tel Aviv. Oh, yes. This is maybe too much trouble. This parade is an annual onslaught of good vibes, techno beats, and, well, some body paint. It's also the only street party of its kind in the Middle East, attracting up to 200,000 people each and every year. Oh, I'm telling you, this is amazing. Float after float of beautiful people cruise by singing and dancing, and of course sipping the odd libation. Hey, why not? It's a party. What the hell am I doing drinking wine in a beach event? Eventually, the parade winds up gathered along the beachfront in downtown Tel Aviv. And what you end up with is basically one hell of a rave. And you know, after viewing this spectacle, I cannot imagine anyone looking at this country as old world anymore. Clearly, Israel is looking to their future. Thank you.